to speak to Shields for you. Alright, Shears has told me they are, and uh, I'm gonna go with that. Mendel's coming in with a couple lasers in that down air. Oh, there is no jump, is there? Ooh! Boom, with that down B to just avoid losing that first stock for that F smash. Daniels definitely knew that Boom didn't have his jump. So Daniels has it all tied up with Boom. Always feels good uh, to be in that position. Let's see. He does. Low angled F tilt, or F smash rather. Good recovery. Oh, <laughs> that Nair stays out so long from Yoshi. Heavy enough, I think that he's just kind of an easy character for Yoshi to combo. But I do think that he's got a lot of tools uh, to outspace Yoshi a lot of the time, especially, you know, with the projectile. It looks like Wispy will push Daniels off there. cool to watch Boom edge guard. I mean, with almost any character, because you can kind of see, like, he uses so many of the options, and he, he, he's one of those players that uses them right. You know, like, most of the time you're going to see the optimal way to edge guard, depending on the position of the, uh, you know, opponent trying to return to the stage, and the character uh, that, you know, that you're using. It's really great to watch these high-level players play, you know, and, and just exploit, uh, you know, other, you know, intermediate or intermediate high level players even. And sometimes you could feel like such a huge skill gap, you know, between a you know, a player like Boom and, and yourself or you know, Daniels, myself, whomever, right? But you can really learn a lot. Especially if you're playing at that level, that intermediate level, you see like all these great options where you'll see him avoid the wrong options and, or not get stuck using that's the same option in every scenario because each scenario is a little unique. So Daniels will switch it up to Pika. He's kind of a dual main, uh, Pika Fox. At least he was. So, it's, so it seems he still is. And I do believe I saw him play other characters and teams, but... You'll see, you'll see Pika use that F air a lot on Yoshi's. Um, you know, any drill attack is a, is a pretty good option to use against Yoshi. So, you, you know, obviously you can't just uh, parry it. And you see that Nair is parried. That was a decently long first stock. And Daniels is doing his best to kind of stay away. Waiting for his opening here. He's not punished for that thud. Defensive uh, rising up air. Oh, 
Spit up the Edgehog. Oh, man. And Boom was just waiting there for that. It definitely looks like one of those old tricks he busts out once in a while. I was just standing there on the platform and he just uh, let Daniel's ledge hop and just F tilted him. And obviously, you know, as you know, Yoshi's F tilt, which leads perfectly into that F air spike. Nair stays out so long, it's almost there, but... Oh, Daniels won't get good DI on that. He ran in for the grab, and uh, and Boom caught him, but I really thought he was going to be able to DI that F air. He'd be able to at least land on the stage. And I don't know if he got bad DI or didn't get any at all, but... Harry grab. First bear. So our host of ODS3 is down stock here against the, uh, the favorite to win it all. Big combo from Boom, and that'll do it. One stock left for Daniels here. Definitely tough to get something started against Yoshi. You know, he's, he's just so strong when he uh, when he has low percentage. His ability to super armor through everything and parry. Ooh! So we caught him out of his jump with that up air, but... Oh! <laughs> And we know Boom wins championships on missed F-smashes.